the justice itself is not good, but the sacrament is more, you know, uh, dislike is bring the the anger of Allah. So we pray may Allah uh, keep us safe from further in sin that will cause the anger of Allah against us. We pray also the this year, as we said, may Allah give us good health and protect us from bad. And He already said everything, you know, and anything that will happen, and anything, you know, success and failure, everything. But we pray as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his kunut, he said, وَقِنَا وَصْرِفْ عَنَّا شَرَّ شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ Ya Allah protect me and change the bad decree you have decreed for me. Okay, and change it to goodness. As Muslim, your dua and your sadaqah can change the decree of Allah regarding your you know, daily life. But certain things it will happen, no matter how. Uh, we already talk about the issue of the the, the qada wa qadr. Even you know the scholars, the companion, everybody has problem of qada wa qadr. May Allah make us understand. Uh, last time, I think we already read the, the hadith number 16, uh, which we were talking about the anger. A man who came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, asking him, Oh Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, advising, uh, uh, advice him, give him advice. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, La tabda. Do not get angry. He keep asking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the same thing. I was saying a lot of times, the same, the same answer come from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam telling him, La tab tab. And we all, you know, you know, explain what the Sheikh explained also in the book, his book, Sheikh Sari Fazan, Hafidhahullah. And I think we already completed. And as then I said, the only thing, uh, there are four things, there are certain things you have to know that if you get angry, you have to do. First thing, you say, Allah Billah, Yahya Shaitan And if you are in a station of what? Standing, find a place and sit down. If you sit, you sit, you sit down, then you still have that anger, go and lay down in your room. Go and lay down. If that does not happen, uh, in a week hadith, they said, uh, you can go and perform the wudu. Because it is from shaitan. The shaitan that is running in between your neck. You see a person, some people even when they got angry, they shake like they want to put all the world down. You, where, you, where are you going? Take it easy. Take it easy. There's nothing, you know, when you take a decision, and do not take decision when you get angry. That's the reason why it is good to keep it quiet. When you get angry, just say, I will be like you shut down again, walk away. When everything cools down, then you can, you know, try to fix the, the situation. The reason why sometimes it is, it is not good sometimes when you see people fighting. Both of them, they already in their temper, then you will come, what happened? You bring a more fit. You bring a more fit. You just have to say, okay, brothers, you have to stop that. And you take another, you know, one of them away from that one. And you try to find someone to take care of the second one. When they are all, everything put down, then you can talk to them. Because it's not easy. A human being, when you get angry, we all, it's not like, we all have that. It's a nature of a person. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, La Tabba, some scholars, they explain, they said, La Tabba, the few scholars, they say that you are not even about to get angry. And this, it is not possible, because the anger will come back, you know, acting upon the anger, that's what is haram. But look, getting angry, it is, it is our nature. Allah is the one who, who can eat it like that, act like that. It's like desire. You're not going to tell a person not to have a desire. You know, to have, like, you need uh, to, to eat something, like, or you need a, a wife, or you need a woman. But the only thing is, like, you use it in the right way. The moment you use it in uh, haram, you get sin for that. But no one will hold you that because you have that feeling. 
You're not gonna hold a person because you love woman, woman. But you hold him if you go a, 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 against the law, Islamic law. You're not gonna, uh, you know, accuse a woman because you love a, uh, a man. It is the nature how Allah created. But you, but you can, you know, the moment you can accuse her, accuse the person is the moment they use it in haram. It's the same thing with anger. Something can happen with anger, but you have to always hold on someone. That's the reason why, you know, last time when we bring the ayah, when Allah said, saying, وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَاوَاتُ وَالْعَرْضُ وعدد للمتقين. To summarize this like hustle, you know, rush, compete to get the magfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the pardon of Allah. And to get the jannah, that is even larger, it is bigger than what? The heavens and the earth. And it is also only promised to what? Those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are asking the question. It's like somebody asks, so who are the people who are here, you know, who fear Allah? Al-Ladhina yunfiquna fi sarra. Those who always stand in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they have a heart and they are happy. Wa tarra. When they find themselves in a very hard, difficult situation. And also they don't even have a heart, but they keep giving. That's the reason why they said what? Ta'arrafi Allah fi al-rakha ya'arifuka fi shidda In the same thing also Ta'arrafi Allah fi shidda ya'arifuka fi al-rakha In any circumstances you have to always remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So when you are in hardship Even if you don't promise that Allah is there, He will be there Allah will be there Yunfiquna fi sarrahi wa al-darrahi and he said what? وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْرِ وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْرِ الْغَيْرِ is like the anger those who swallow they, they even you know extinguish their what? their anger وَالْعَرْفِينَ الْنَاسِ and those who pardon they just you know you remember Allah مِنَا الْعَفُوُّ تُحِبُّ الْعَفْوَ فَأَفْعَلُ تِرُ رَمَضَانَ Allah, you are the, you know, the most forgiving and will ask us. And this is, uh, Afro is like you do it and you don't even see the, the, the sign of your anger before. A person does something to you, you forgive them, you pardon them, and you take away your far far You take away your, your eyes on what they have done. This is the pardon that Allah is asking us to, to have. And will care the meaning of you. So the 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 quality of mutaqin it is that what they swallow their anger. They don't show it. They try to control their anger. Hmm? But yes, yes, it's, it's not easy. But you, you know, this is how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Uh, let the surah. ولكن الشديد الذي يملكه يملك نفسه إلا لغضه. And I think we said it last time. Is the strong people, the one who is stronger, the macho, is not the one who has muscles. You, you know, make a hundred push up. Uh, no, 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 it's not that. <laughs> right? Some people, you know, they want to have, a, you know, uh, muscle, like I have. Huh? Muscle, right? They have, they, they have a very, the chest that is showing. No, 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 no. Of course, it's good to take care of your body, but it's not that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Shadid, the one who is strong, is Al-Ladhi Yam Maliku Nafsahu in the Laban. Is the one who controls his anger. When he, he, he controls his heart. Who has the control of his heart? Some people, they got angry, you cannot control them. That's it. One of my officers gave me a story, story, a story of a, a man in Nigeria that happened. He got angry, like something happened, and then he was beating up his son. Then the son, mother, his wife, said, "Are you gonna kill him?" And he said, "Yes, I'm gonna kill him. That's my son. I can do whatever." Wallah, he went and took a a saw, and then he, like he, he killed his him, his son because of anger. 
Por isso que eu meti o que toque. Sahana. You see how anger, how many people married have been destroyed because of anger. Then later on both sides they start regretting. But it's already, sometimes it's already even too late. How many people they got angry, they beat up their wife. They beat them until like they don't even realize that it's a human being. They have their faces, it's Muslims. Why the Prophet said, we don't, we're not supposed to even harm them. And you see a person, they will throw even the, his, you know, the bag, you know, all the, you know, stuff of the woman. Go, I don't want you anymore. It's not like that. What happens so the Fatal Abena? If something happened between you, do not forget the woman you were trying to, you know, ah, you, you know, try to go, oh, I want her, I want her. So what about now? Anything that happened, it is also maybe the part that if you want to divorce, divorce in peace. Not harming one another. Today we come the, the divorce, there's a, a sort of, you know, concept of Torah, the divorce sort of. It is normal. If it's happened that, that you know, you don't understand one another, the, you know, separate in peace. It becomes fight sometimes if people, you know, divorce. They fight one another and they plot the, you know, the children against one another. And they put even the, the, the children are the, the one who are even suffering more. May Allah protect us from that. So the anger, anger will never bring anything except, except pity. Except negative. The reason why the purpose of Allah Alaihi Wasallam, when he repeat the same, uh, the same nasiha, la taqdab, la taqdab, we all have to work uh, to be careful and keep it. One of the ayahs we have to be able to do what you do, what you do, what you do. He said, when they get angry, okay, about someone, against someone, they, they forgive. Forgiveness all the time. Because if you get angry, Allah is asking you, don't you forgive? ولا يكاد اولو الفضل منكم وسعه ان يؤتوا اولو القربى والمساكين والمهاجرين في سبيل الله وليعفوا وليصفحوا الا تحبون ان يغفر الله لكم الله غفور رحيم. We only know the moment uh, Abu Bakr رضي الله عنه the moment they accused our mother you know for you know false accusation about her you know when they went to that uh, uh, battle and they left her behind and that Sahaba who took her back to home the Munafikun they spread the you know the news that oh you know uh, accusing the mother she's far away from that it's Allah from even the sky Allah you know purify her so Abakar among those who spread the news someone was on the, the responsibility of what Abu Bakr So he refused to feed him anymore. So when this ayah uh, was revealed, oh, what about uh, among you, those who have a little, a little of a means, the feeding other people, the masakin, the need one, and so on, and something happened, then they refused to feed them anymore. Don't you want Allah to forgive you? I said, bala, 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 bala. They said the moment this ayah was revealed, Abu Bakr wrote the Allah Rahman. The, 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 the way, the amount of food he used to feed that person, he doubled. It's just that they, they look for food. But as today, a person will get angry, you bring the hadith. You know, Imam, Allah, I understand. But this one, no. You bring the ayah. No, no. So what you want? You want the, the angel to, the, to descend before you? What happened? Huh? If Allah was about to, you know, hold, 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 all, hold all of us for what we are doing to him, day and night, nobody will survive. In Surah al Kahf, I think there's an ayah. Uh, there's an ayah that's saying, uh, I forgot that ayah. 
Uh, huh? I have to bring you, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it ends with لَعَجَّلَ لَهُمَ الْعَذَابِ بَلْ لَهُمْ مَوْعِدٌ لَنْ يَجِدُوا مِنْ دُونِهِ مَوْعِدًا وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُهُمْ بِمَا كَسَبُوا هذه الآية وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُهُمْ بِمَا كَسَبُوا لَعَجَّلَ لَهُمُ الْعَذَابِ If Allah was about to hold us and punish us immediately for what we are doing you will even see you will never see anything on the earth walking. But he is waiting for us to repent, to repent. And those who do not repent, they will have their punishment in the prayer. And this is also because of the Torah of the Prophet Muhammad. Because the people before anyone who just do the next day you will see a sign on them. This commit, this person commit a sin. Everybody will just see the sign. Imagine if you commit something, there is a sign. Everybody just look at you. Ah, he does it. <laughs> no, no, nobody, nobody will commit anything. But Allah, Allah is the one who is covering them, the mistake, and He wants you. He honors everybody. He doesn't want to reveal all what you do. He wants he wait for you to repent. When you repent the day of Kiyama, you will come, he will tell you between you and him what why do you do this? What do you do this? What do you do this? Satan took a victory. I covered it for you in this video. Nobody knows about it. And this Kiyama also I forgave you. Nobody will hear about it. Go to Jan. So when you forgive, this is the kind of forgiveness you have. That's the reason why if a person always trying to reveal his his own evil, he is the most uh, uh, the most evil person. Allah found a person who commit a, a sin in secret. Nobody knows, but then he will come and reveal it to everybody. So. And also, someone is committing something, you see it and you know that he's trying to hide it. Then you see it, then you go and you tell people. The same thing you do uh, here, you make it uh, happen in front of people, you make it, uh, you share it among the people. That's how Allah also, if you don't repent, that's how Allah also will disgrace you. Even in your house, what is happening, people will know. So, we are protect us. So forgiveness, it is a part of a, a, a good qualities of a, a, a taqi, the one who is what? Who fear Allah. And nobody will go to Jannah except what? The one who fear, those who fear Allah. Because in the name of Allah, Allah will not accept except from those who fear Him. So may Allah increase us in fear. So uh, the the anger is not, is not good. Anyone who forgives you pardon, you take away your eyes on what happened, this is very good things and Allah will reward you for that. It is so hard to do it, but Allah will reward you for that. So may Allah uh, increase us in, in, in sorrow. Because it's not easy, someone will just come and do something to you, you cannot hold yourself. But how are you going to do? It is already happened. It's not going to change anything. For you to punish me, nothing will change. Some people, you try to even help them, but they are, they are the ones who are harming you. How are you going to do? According to the scholars and the good people before us, they said, that's the moment you have to increase your goodness upon that person. Just because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who is in the world. He is the one who is A person just show himself that he is your enemy. But Allah said that that's the moment you take him like your wali. And you know the meaning of wali. When the other people call themselves wali, you know wali, you know, it's because they, they, they claim that they are close to Allah. So you have to take that person as your closest one. And it is also a, a secret. We have to know something. The moment a person 
uh, your hand. Truth, you Allah make some someone eat from your your hand. If they try to harm you, it's going to be hard. If you realize that the people are doing sick on you, according to the signs of Ruqiyya, if you realize that some, some people, you know, you know them all, they, maybe the, the family, they try to harm you with sick, trying to start increasing your goodness upon them. And you will see. So the woman in Quran, فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ We all know عَدَاوَةٌ We say عَدَاوَةٌ is عَدُو It's enemy If you realize that So you take him كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌ حَمِيمٌ But he said وَغَيْ مَنْ قَاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبُرُ You will never find this except from those who have suffered It's not everybody May Allah be pleased as a suffer And this suffer is not like If you want you have suffer No, no, no if you don't have sabr, you will be among the people who will be losers in this dunya day after. Because what answer? In the insana, la fi khusr. Illa la bina amanu amin salihat wa tawasa wa dhabki. No sabr is sabr. You all know the meaning of your own answer. In the insana, la fi khusr. Every human being you see here is nothing. They are in perdition. They are like, they are losers. Every human being you see in the insana, la fi khusr. And he said, Illya, except Alladheena Amanu, we know Amanu, they who believe, who amal salihah, they do what? They keep doing the righteous deeds. Wa tawasu bil haqqi. And they give advice, they be sincere. When it comes to the truth, they don't hide anything. Wa tawasu bil salihah. And they give advice, they be sincere in everything with what? Being patient. So sometimes it's not like you have a choice. We don't have a choice. As Muslims, we have to practice ourselves to have support. May Allah give us the support. So the hadith uh, 17, it is also another hadith. He said, An Abi Ya'la Shaddad bin Aus, Rabbi Allah, and Umar Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Tali, Inna Allah qatab al-Ihsan ala kulli shay, Fa'idha qataltum, Fa'ahsinu al-Qitla, Wa'idha dhabahtum, Fa'ahsinu al-Dhabaha, Wa'liyuhidda ahadukum, Shafratahu, Wa'liyurih, Nabihada. Here on the authority of Abu Ya'la, and his name is what? Shaddad, Shaddad ibn Aws. He said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna allaha qatab al-insan ala kulli shay. Without any doubt, Allah has recommended, and he has placed, he has enjoyed excellence, perfection, Regarding everything on this earth, you know, everything, he put perfection. And he says, so when you kill, what do you want to kill? Kill in good way. When you want to slaughter, slaughter, all right, the same thing you have to slaughter in what? In good way. So everyone of you should sharpen their what? His knife and let the slaughtering animal die comfortably. And when it comes to Ihsan, I think we already talked about Ihsan in the Hadith of Hadith Gibril. Hadith Gibril is what the Hadith, the second Hadith is, we talk about the man came, he was wearing very white, and his hair was so dark and so on, did not realize. He is new, but they don't see any sign of what? Of traveling on him. He was Gibril when Gibril came in and he was asking questions. But he came in like a human being. Sat in front of Papa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking him questions. And tell me about Islam. Tell me about Iman. And he said, tell me about Ihsan. Ihsan is the perfection we talk about. He said, Al-Ihsan al ta'bud Allah ka'annaka ta'rahu. Fa'illam ta'bud ta'rahu. فإنه يرى 
is to worship Allah as He is there, you worship, you know, you see Him. If you think you don't see Him, put your mind that He is watching you, Allah is watching you. So that's the Ihsan. And we have Ihsan, uh, that's the level part of Ihsan being, you know, perfection. The relationship should be perfect, you know, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have that. And we have another one, your Ihsan between human beings. Your goodness, your perfection between you and the other human being. It doesn't matter they are Jews, Muslim, they are Kufar, any human mankind, your Ihsan. And also, your Ihsan, your goodness towards the animals. It's not only human being, they have to also go to what? To the animals. And we explain the Ihsan between you and your, your Lord, your Creator, it is what we, we say that's the A'la Maratib Deen. Is the highest level of what? Of the this thing of your religion. So you have to worship Allah as you see Him. If you don't see Him, took you don't see Him, realize that He is watching. This is all ikhlas. You keep you know, sincerity in your in your worship. The way you worship Allah among people, the same thing you worship Allah when you are alone. Because remember that the one who will be the judge, he is the one who is recording your actions. Be careful. So, between you and other people also, uh, it is one you have, when you, you have, you know, goodness, you give people, when you have, uh, you smile at people, you being kind to people, this is between you what? and the human being. It doesn't matter they are Muslim. If they are Muslim, they even reserve more. If they are not Muslim, but they deserve your Islam, your goodness also. Alright? And then your, your, your Islam also between you and the, the animals. Because Allah put the animals on our favor. Some, some, some of them, they can harm us. Some of them, they are just like that. We cannot eat them. For example, like a uh, uh, like a dog, or you know, cat, all those things. All right. So we cannot eat them, but we have to be kind to them. The reason why a woman who was a street walker, like she's going everywhere. We know women who's going from men to men, other men. By the time of what? But in Israel, she was passing, or she drink from a well. When she was passing, she was passing, and then she saw the dog that looked so thirsty. So she went down and grabbed water with her foot and gave to the dog. Since that day, the dog thank Allah for that woman, and that woman became a, a person of gender. And another narration they say is a man. So you realize I said, come. It is a dog. The dog that what is it? We all not Americans, so we know that we the the view of them. So, <laughs> so you, you you give you know just water to a dog, not a, not a, a human being, not even talking about what a Muslim. So today, if you want some of the borders, there are a lot of people who are suffering. They don't get water. The only world you will just make make them dig over there, it will stay forever, and you will have your reward of there. It's a human being who will drink from it. The animals, even the ants, when they came closer and they get the coolness of that world, Allah, you will have the reward for it. So do not waste your your sometime your money building something for you know people who will just come and inherit. And who knows, maybe you're not gonna even remember you and make it to for you. But you better do something good for yourself and save it for yourself. Because nowadays there's no guarantee with our children. We all know that word. There's no guarantee. Before people try, and even now some people try, 
the moment they just know about it, they look at the Mus'haf, the Quran. Oh, how many pages, how many half horrors in the Quran? How many letters in the Quran? Because if you take care of your child, you memorize the whole Quran, anytime they recite the Quran, you have the reward. For every second letter, every, you know, each letter, you will have the reward. So people, people put their children in Quranic school so that they become something. And their parents, alhamdulillah, they get them reward until now. But today is hard. We all know that it's hard to make them even pray is hard. We don't even talk about the Quran. The reason why you should also save for yourself before. Because we are in journey. And every day we get getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to have accounts next to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because some people will go there, they have a lot of accounts. But some people, no accounts. They are not always is, is, in dunya. They are not to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are protected from that. If you, you open an account next to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you get there, you will have your, your money. And then you know that the account you put, you know, you give to Allah, He multiply a lot of time. So sometimes we have to be careful, especially we who are, who are here. We know that it's not. If the, uh, I think the the most expensive way you can have, maybe it will never go beyond five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars. It depends on you know uh, length. It doesn't go you know beyond that. So if you just you know uh, work. During the two months, two years, you save a little, little, and you just save and then make the world somewhere. You really make sure that you find a place where people really in need. And you said because some area they will just take it. The world is here, another one is here, and they don't even you know, appreciate. It. When my my was telling me about when they went to Sudan to study. He was explaining that some people, you know, it's also sometimes it's a desert. You see, there's no water, there's so hot. You realize that? So some people, you, 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 when you pass it so hot, So I'm explaining the moment, the moment he, the moment you walk through certain areas so hard. So some people they manage themselves, they put some jar, some like they put, you know, make a kind of a put water somewhere, a jar, right? That's how we say it, right? A container to uh, to put water, very cold water on the street. People who are walking and they test it, they take it and drink. Look how people, you know, try to get reward. Because it's a, you know, it's a place where it's hard to find, to find water. And these people, they can make money you know, took that, but no, they decided to put on the street water so that anyone who pass in their test, they can drink from it. That's the reason why, you know, it's always good, you yourself, you do something. And even if you don't write your name, just between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah knows. You don't have to put your name, oh, no, 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 it's not that, it's not like that. You just leave it, Allah knows, and you do it for the sake of Allah. Anytime you are making doing, you say, Oh, well, if I did it for your sake, save me the door there. And if Allah want to save me the door for it's from now, He will save you. In our language, they say, If he, the Friday we want to, to be good, it starts from, from Thursday. It's the same thing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, our relationship between a Muslim, your relationship between you and the 
the animals, it is always about being merciful to them. And here, uh, the hadith is explaining that when you want to kill, and here the Sheikh is saying, if you want to kill a person, here it's not you, it's, the, it's regarding the law. If somebody took the life of a human being and they want to, you know, make us the sauce, okay? We all know that if a person takes the life of another one, there is judgment. If it is the law of Islam, they will judge and see. If he had to pay dear, or they would accept, they don't accept. If they say that, no, we want him also die, the family of the victim, so the person has to be killed. The reason why when the, that person wants to be killed, they find a very uh, uh, sharp right? uh, sword. Okay? They, 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 they will sharp the. When they just put one, that's it. He's not, the person is not going to feel any pain. The head will just go out and that's it. Yeah, I was going to go and witness, but I did not have the heart. When I went there, then I make you turn over there in Madina. Because there is a place they do it, and people go and see. So some people, some people like they judge them, and then they need to be their life. Sharia is the source have to be done. Sometimes, if you don't pay attention, you will think you are more merciful than Allah. Allah who make this uh, this law. But remember that He said, "Wala kum fil qisas hayat." Yeah, if a person kill, they kill him, you have your life inside. This is how what what will bring life. Because if today you know I go and kill somebody, may Allah protect us, somebody, and then they leave me. Ah, if she moment to see, he said, Oh, he killed did not do anything to him. Another person will go and do the same thing. So it will bring corruption and be disturbed the earth. But the moment the person realizes when you take the life of another one, you also you have to be taken. You will think about uh, about it before you do it. Look at how they kill the killing everyone now. Because what? They will just take them to the jail and after a while they will come back. They know that they're not gonna do anything to them. So, but if you it happened, then they have to just kill him, not you know punish him, punish that person, you know having so much pain before they kill him. It is haram. Huh? It is haram. If you want to kill, take life. You have to what? Uh, make it perfect so that the person does not feel that too much pain. They just get one pain and that's it. Their life, you know, is gone. And when you when you want to slaughter also for the animals, and when the doctor also go also with uh, certain animals, you know, like uh, snakes that you see, uh, how you call it, scorpion, right? That you see anything that can harm. If you want to kill it, okay, it's not like right. That you keep, you catch it, then you cut the leg. You cut here, and they suffer before you take it away their life. It's not right. It's not, it's not good. You get sin for that. The punishment you give to that animal, it is also a, a creation of all God, like you. You want to just kill it, kill it immediately. You bring fire, you will burn it back, and then you will bring another razor, you cut here. No, no, no. It's not right. For the animals, it doesn't matter they are, you know, venomous, whatever it is, you don't punish, you don't punish them before you take away their life. Huh? Yeah? You don't talk to them. There's no talk to in Islam. It is Allah who is allowed to do that. You don't put yourself in that position. So if you want to kill, you kill nicely. And you're done with it. Sometimes you see some people because they have rat in their houses, they will cut one rat and that rat will stay, 
you know, get punished in the whole day before the king. Why? It is hard. And if you want to also uh, slaughter, like the animal we, we eat and so on, we have to be careful. We have to have mercy on those animals. It is a blessing that Allah gave us of, you know, uh, authorization to enjoy their meat and whatever it is. But we are not allowed to torture them like you said. You don't put them in that position where they suffer from the pain. They suffer from the pain. You see a lot of Muslim, they want to slaughter their camel or their... They want to... What are you doing? They want to slaughter a cow. They will slaughter it and you see a cow running with the, the blood around. So how long? Muslims. Even for you to tie them before you, you know, uh, slaughter them, you just have to, to do it immediately. Not tie them and they see the blood of the, the, the animal they killed before. It is haram. It's not right. The moment you just tie them, everybody is holding them, just take that's it. And you make it sharp, like your, your knife, make it like, make so that it, it's so sharp, when you just put one, that's it. It is not right that you torture them, they, they feel pain. As I said, some Muslims, I saw, you know, we saw the video how a cow was running around with blood. Me and a potato for that. So as Muslims, we need Allah make perfection in everything. When you want to do stuff also, you do it in perfect way. You don't do it by punishing the animals. It is hard. Me and I put it as well down. I think we are going to stop here. You pray, may Allah give us a long life. And whatever we say, what is right, may Allah put barakah in it. And keep it, keep it uh, for us, the day of prayer. Whatever is wrong, it is from our weakness. May Allah protect us and forgive us. Rabbana taqabbal mina inna kanta samir alim. Atuba alayna inna kanta tawabu rahim. Allahumma ya hayu ya qiyum bi rahmatika nastaghir. Asalih lana shakjana kullah. Wa la takinna ila anfusina tarfat a'in. Allahumma iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'in. Allahumma iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'in. Allahumma la hawla lana wa la quwata illa bik. لا ملجأ ولا منجأ منك إلا إليك تولى أمرنا يا الله ويسر أمرنا يا الله برحمتك يا أرحم الرحيم يا رب العالمين ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وضرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما واغفر لنا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا إلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة نقنا على من نار اللهم إنا نعوذ برضاك من سخطك وبمعافاتك من عقوبتك وبك منك لا نصيف لا أنا عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونطول إليك سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون السلام على المسلمين الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته